Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Trading McTrade in Europa Universalis 4. So I've been looking around a little bit and I feel kind of foolish because I realized we share a sea zone with Denmark. We can totally fabricate claims on their land and that would be an easier way to actually get a cast of spell against them. So we should just do that. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I was kind of just on the assumption that they're far enough away that we won't be able to do it and I didn't even consider it. But uh, just loaded the game up, so everyone's going to change their rivals. Burgundy has rivaled us. Norway, no longer a valid rival. That's not good. Um, we're over our relationship limit. Hmm. And having you not able to be my rival... I, I do think we're going to just pay the Diplo points. I want that land up there. I do think that that would be a good way to go. So that's still the plan. We, we attack Denmark. Um, they call in Norway. We go siege Norway. And that's what we do. Um, other than that, we're also... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm okay with being above the relationship limit while we have all these Diplo points. We're ahead of time. So uh, we got our Diplomat. Let's go ahead and fabricate our claim on... Which one? This one's been converted by a missionary. I have a feeling that they're, they're both going to get converted, but... On the off chance we actually take something, let's fabricate on the, the cheaper one. Because I'm still a bit concerned about our ability to actually convert territory. We're building a dry dock. We're building all the things. Jared became vassals of the Mamluks. So we're in this war because the Palatinate called us in. And the question is, do we actually want to help them? First off, do we have military access? We don't. We could ask for military access, but the likelihood of getting it... Pretty low. We can get through Gallery. Kind of strange that we don't actually have military access through any of this territory. Like, dude, Hess, didn't you ask for military access? You asked for, for it through Trier and Nuremberg. Really? That's it? Did you ask for it from a few other places and then I might actually consider coming to help you? I don't want to have to ask a whole bunch of people for military access. It's too much work. It's two whole people. I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to help you. I'm not going to help you. There's no benefit in it, no profit. No profit to be made. The rival of our rival is Scotland, so they should become our friend. Scotland. Reformed Scotland. I'm tempted to become not Norse. Just saying. We convert to Dutch. I think I might want to do that. We, like, move our capital to Zealand or something? Actually, I probably want to have it in good defensive terrain. So, Friesland. French Fry Land. You know what? Just gonna officially rename it. And that way people can't, can't complain when I call it Friesland. Or French Fry Land. Because it is French. It's where French fries come from. Remen wants military access. That's fine. So I saw a pop-up about the Hansa. They are the defender against Bremen and the Bremian purge of Munster heresy. So Bremen, a one-province minor, has declared war on Munster, who is significantly larger than they are, and they're trying to convert... Munster. From Catholic to Protestant. Um, Bremen, I'm, I'm really confused by what you're doing. You're at war with the Hansa. You're at war with every... You're, what? What? So, why would you assume... What, it's just such a bad idea. I mean, you called in, what? Holston joined? Great. Great, you... It's like you want to get flipped back to Catholic, because you're going to lose this war. 
right? I mean, you might win this battle. Did you call more people in? Denmark just collapsed. No, you're losing. You're gonna lose. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Denmark, I need to attack you. I'm sorry. As soon as we get a dip, uh, as soon as we get our claim. You're not part of the HRE. So we could totally go up there. Switzerland has become reformed. We've got seven transports, which is more than enough. Let's get a, take our repairs in. Maybe one or two. Got all this money, nothing to spend it on. We build stuff. We build a temple. Sure, we'll build a temple. We build a training field. Sure, we'll build that too. And that'll do it. That's all we can do. France has us rivaled. Burgundy has us rivaled. Oh, we'll keep improving relations with Austria. Still f wish we could just actually get allies. I complain about this way too much, I know. I, it's just the whole... I don't know why I listen to people. <laughs> the whole idea that... Ooh, military power. Mercantilism. Yeah. The whole idea of being a different religion is so fun when you're playing in the nation designer, but in game it's not not fun at all. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. I highly suggest you don't do that. Okay, we're only one year ahead of time now, so we might have to take this tech soon. We don't need it, I think, to win any wars. We'll wait until it's right up against it. I want to keep our advantage going as long as possible. I'm going to keep on re-electing crappy guys, try to get a Republican tradition back up. <clears throat> full, and, full annexation of Magdeburg, okay. Full annexation, sorry, not of Magdeburg, of... Who then? Who was this? Who existed here? It was Lundberg. Okay, goodbye Lundberg. These two countries have a very similar color. Magdeburg has just rivaled Munster. Alright, we've got our claim. So the idea is we declare war on you. No one joins us, of course. Provence honors the defensive call. Provence is actually kind of sizable, but I don't think they're going to matter. Um, we could make Norway a co-belligerent, but that would allow them to call in England, and then we'd lose our transfer trade power, and we'd lose our war reparations. And I really like my war reparations. We're making 2.3 ducats a month from them. Which is, is good. And I really like the trade power. So we don't want to lose that. So we will not make them a co-belligerent. And we're just going to do the conquest war. Totally. I'm all about that. We're going to kill some ships apparently. And uh... I mean I suppose we should go up there and actually siege some stuff, right? Of course I have no military access. Do we have an advisor? A leader? Yes we do. Oh, I don't have actually military access through Holston. It's kind of weird. Even though Holston's my ally, they don't give me military access. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll get the entirety of the army over there. How's revolt risk look? Totally fine. Our navy's under attack. So we got 31 on 82 ships. All galleys. We might lose a ship or two because they've got a lot of cannons, but we should win this fight, sink their whole navy. Oh, we didn't even lose a ship. Look at that. Awesome. And gave them 2.6% war exhaustion. And I think... Rather than even fighting that army, I'm going to go ahead and just establish a blockade. Why is the detach button not working? Here we go.
Some sort of a peace deal was just arranged. Uh, we're going to re-elect a new bureaucrat, I think. What are we working on? We're the least ahead of time on... on administrative. So yeah, we'll keep doing bureaucratic candidate. We'll turn him into a leader again, because I don't really see any reason not to. We'll have him march up there. We'll take all their islands. Hey, the guilds have taken over. Alright. Whatever you say, boss. I don't really care. I'm not going to mess with it. And yeah, we're going to blockade all the things. Now, with this thing, um... Let's actually take you, and oh god, you're horribly, horribly balanced. Look at that. That is not acceptable. What is this? Ridiculous. And take this army up to here. Any particular reason why the automatic fleet transportation is not working? It's seven dudes. We are at war with them. What the hell is happening right now? I'm confused. So, like, if I tried to do... There we go. Now... What the hell is happening with this game? Now it's working. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Our deity. So, I remember we were going to re-elect, and the reason was we we're going to take a technology here. Actually, we're going to take two of them. So yeah, I think we want the tech... the tech... deity. For a bit. It'll save us a few monitor points. Could go over here and siege these three. Actually, we could siege like all of Denmark except for their capital right now. Of course, our army is pretty spread thin at the moment. Did we capture a heavy? I think we did. What are we doing on trade power in our capital node right now? 81% with no ships. And we are maxed out on monarch military, military points. I don't want to pay the ahead of time penalty. Um, do we have any, like, buildings we can build? Is there any... We could roll a general? I guess we roll a general. Pretty garbage. But I'd rather do that than just throw away 60 points. England have honored their alliance with Norway. They're at war with Sweden and Scotland. Cool. So Sweden just declared war on Norway, and England is going to defend them. That gives Norway something to do, but that also, incidentally, gives Norway military access. But we've got the Straits blockaded, so we're totally safe to siege these four down. We'll get a ticking war score from doing that thing, but I don't think we're going to take this land. Just because... Well, Protestant's not that hard to convert. I really just want this land, though. I want to colonize. Exploration. You guys could stay out here for quite a while. I think you'll help out with the blockade. We'll try to pay attention to that army. Or that navy, rather. Hopefully it doesn't get sunk. What are we doing on force limit? Right up there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think this was gonna go so well for you there, Bremen. You are already out. Yep, the war just ended. Did I not get a pop-up, or did I ignore it? I might have... I just might have clicked through it. Seems pretty likely. Oh, we've got free diplomats. I'm gonna go ahead and improve relations with England. And, you know, whoever else that's nearby. Let's go check this navy, just make sure it's doing alright. That, that ticking thing is gonna come up pretty quick. We have four cannons. Almost enough to get a bonus. 
We could have two and one or one and two. I'd rather have probably one in each. Better chance of uh, breached walls or something just by spreading it out. Next month we'll take military tech. Hopefully Norway does not. We'll get a tactics advantage, maybe. Actually, no, there are no tactics here. Nope. So we're not going to get any increased siege speed or anything. No, but this war is going to go pretty well. I mean, there's not much to say about it. I want to rival England. Even though I know I'm improving relations with them right now. Meanwhile, we're losing this war. Which is kind of risky. The fact that I've got these troops kind of isolated. Not the best strategy, probably. I mean, technically, technically it's risky, but, I mean, if they ignore me, then that's fine. No ships out there. Okay, 13% is a little bit too much for my liking. We're going to have to bring you guys home. Get them repaired up to full. Send them back out there. Very few Dipple Points coming in right now. And we're going to need the Dipple Points if we actually do go for colonization. But that does seem like the best way to kind of expand at this point, you know? Go for the colony thing, because it's just the way for us to do what we can do. Totally going to take our tech. We can upgrade our unit type. We'll take the, uh... Hundada? Is that what we want? Yeah. Of course, we'll take the short strider. Oh, was, we already had the short strider. Gotcha. The Pedrero. It is. Well, aside from getting these sieges done in Norway, I think we've pretty much finished this war. War score cost for these two provinces is going to be almost nothing. Seven and seven. So with 14 war score times two, we only need 28 war score, but if their enthusiasm goes low, we'll be able to negotiate for it pretty easily. And we just ignore this land, I think. Looks like Sweden's destroyed the Norway army, so maybe I'll just siege out all of the rest of it as well. Yeah, we'll ignore the uh, the distance stuff. Let's let these guys finish their repairs, and then we'll use them to move these armies around to this other side. There we go. That ought to do it. Let's have you go join as well. Nope, it's not letting me gonna it's not gonna let me combine them because one of them's on a mission. It's annoying. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. Next video, I expect we'll actually end this war and we'll maybe be in a position where we can actually do some colonization up in the uh, northern half. We'll make colonial Canada, that kind of thing. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.